What is life? What makes a living system what it is? For the past four centuries, the preferred answer to this question is that the organism is a machine. This is a very attractive answer. We understand machines very well because we design them. So thinking about organisms in this way makes them less mysterious and more accessible. The trouble is that organisms are actually very different from machines. Machines are things. They are inert, they are passive, and they need to be activated externally. In contrast, organisms need to stay active to keep existing. This camera won't stop existing when I turn it off. But if I try turning off my cat, I won't have a cat anymore. If an organism is not a machine, then we can't explain it as a machine. We cannot break it down, study its parts in isolation, and then put it back together again. Think again about your cat. We must develop alternative modes of explanation. This shift in perspective has profound consequences for how we think about biology as a science. If organisms are not physical chemical machines, then the burden is on us to develop distinctively biological principles to understand them. And this, in a nutshell, is what my forthcoming book is about. My name is Daniel Nicholson, and I'm a fellow at the KLI.